Hey, what's going on? This is Pranel Bobby checking in. Looking to talk about Libra entering Venus. Why I'm excited about this? Because I have a Gemini in Venus in the seventh house. So I have some very interesting transits coming through. All planets are getting ready to transit Mars into Libra sooner than soon. Um, and Venus in Libra is there right now. I also want to talk in this video about Libra in the twelfth house and what that means. So I have a Scorpio ascendant and my Libra is also in the 12th house. So Libra in the 12th house and how that may dictate what's going on. And to see what this Libra season is getting ready to bring. <clears throat> what I feel is it's a moment of learning how to become a little bit more agreeable. Learning how to recognize that <sighs> sometimes... Sometimes words and logical thoughts, logical reasoning, it has its place, okay? So Libra being a sign that's not necessarily fully emotional at every compact, it's, it's more of a objective thinker, right? It has a over-focus on harmony and balance. Now, when that Libra is in the 12th house, the harmony, the balance is going to really be disrupted by itself because Libra in the 12th house knows how to deceive itself, and we're going through that transit right now. So what does that mean? What it means is, it's not just trying to like necessarily mm, detach from just the collective in a way where it suffers in relationships. So Libra is about seventh house is relationships, right? Your business relationships, your uh, romantic relationships, your one-on-one -on -one relationships. It's also talking about your open enemies. So this is where that again would switch now because now we're having more of our hidden enemies with it being in Pisces. Ow, that tree just hit me in the foot really hard. Um, it's a beautiful tree though. Yeah, this is how you, you, we roll. Um, Libra and Venus, we're here in Colombia checking in. It's a really interesting transit because the world is getting ready to... Can I do this? Wow, does that even work? I hope it does. The world is getting ready to... Um, to really get balanced. To get a little more balanced because Corona, COVID, the world... We all feel a little chaotic in our own ways. Some people by now have really taken some grand leaps and have decided to handle Corona, COVID, uh, vaccines, uh, all of these things in a way now for themselves where it just works. This is what I feel. I feel like right now it's like it's just a time to recognize like, yo, look, what just works for me and let me not get so judgmental about my partner. And that's what Libra and Venus is, okay? Libra and Venus is really going to help that on the COVID scale. And this is where we're taking big advancements in society and humanity. Now, again, there's a Libra in 12th house coming through, which now says with this that we're going to have some open enemies that we're also becoming aware of because 12th house is like the endings, right? So karmically, you're dealing with your crap. And I have a Libra and Venus 12th house and literally as a placement, not as a planet. And so it's coming from my Scorpio ascendant. So a lot of what it takes and requires for a Libra is emotional sacrifices, okay? Especially if you're coming in that transit of Libra in the 12th house, emotional sacrifices. Because it's, an, uh, it's a logical, it's a mental sign, the emotional sacrifices is the tougher thing for it to do because its mind works more like a balance beam, a scale, right? It puts on an argument, it puts on an item, on one side of the scale and it weighs out how much of its ego needs to balance um, and what that sacrifice is going to be logically normally as a Libra or also especially emotionally with this Libra in the 12th house transit that's going down um, this is really exciting stuff people because we're Libra represents fairness and right now the world is looking for it people in the world are looking for things to be a little bit more fair right everyone's looking like now we're going to go through this Libra and Venus also it's a time to be highly creative because it's on the opposite end of an Aries right and it's time to be highly creative because Libras love beautiful things now so much where they can even be materialistic okay or even in that relationship so this is a time where when you're dating you're going to now be more public and with your relationships you're going to now 
um, want to show your friends off and you want to bring them into different social groups. So you're going to kind of want to come out the cage. You may have noticed for a little bit, you were trying to get right with your um, expression, right? Your, your Leo expression, you're going through your Lion's Gate A8. You're trying to get your downloads, your portal into the future, into the future of your healing, um, into the future of yourself, into the future of uh, all the things you're looking to manifest for that last new moon in Leo, which is a six month, six month manifestation cycle. Six months, baby. So, like, this is the thing. is six months, right? Like, we got to recognize that. We got to recognize that. So, don't get discouraged, okay? Because in this Venus season, like... What can happen as well with people can cross your boundaries um, because Libra is also a very manipulative when it's in its toxic. Uh, it's a masculine sign, first off, and when it's in its toxic, it's very, um, it's very manipulative because it wants balance and harmony, but it may not describe and show you how it's deciding to balance, how it's deciding to bring harmony. So this is interesting, but um, ultimately I think it's going to work more for the good or for the better. Uh, just to be watchful of that, especially because Libra is in the 12th house. And that's one of the things. Um, because Libra in the 12th house, it, 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 it's like the opposite. It's coming to its karma. It's ending, right? So Libra in the 12th house is now saying it struggles to relate with other people one-on-one -on -one business. Okay, I have this one-on-one -on -one in relationship. Okay, I have this. I struggle with trust in my, in, in my relationship. I struggle with trust naturally because... Libra naturally wants trust, and it's very easy. It's very ple pleasurable, right? We're talking Venus. Very pleasurable. It's very desirable. Um, it's it's almost lusty in its in its certain forms, but also in a very sophisticated way because Libra is sophisticated, right? Um, you know, this could be like your Kim Kardashian on stage. So, um, really, also Libra in the twelfth house, they are they need a lot of time alone during this transit. You need time alone from your relationships. So it's not a bad thing. Don't panic. Don't freak out. You need time alone from relationship because then it's 12th house transit um, at the beginning, especially again, like I said, for Aries. Um, you could check your zodiac. I don't know where the rest and all of you guys are at, but it's also time to just get real creative and push things forward because Libra is a cardinal sign. So it also says, look, I want to push things forward. It's going to weigh things on the scale. It's going to say, hey, let me take a second to plan. Let me get my plan down. I'm going to pen my paper. Let me really decide what's going to what's gonna happen, where am I going to go. Um, it's going to get real logical about it, right? Real objective. It's not going to really care about the emotional feelings as we go through the season, which is going to be so beautiful for the beautiful things that we attract, for the relationships that we strengthen and we build a stronger bond. So take that time away from yourself and what you need and from your partner in the beginning. And then um, recognize, you know, in what ways do you show up and what ways do you not show up and how can you create more fairness in your relationships and your one-on-one -on -one interactions with people. Um, and, you know, to be mindful to set healthy boundaries. I say healthy boundaries with uh, your partners because Libra could be too agreeable, so agreeable that it wants to avoid the fight. Don't avoid the fight because those emotional sacrifices are key for Libra season. There's Libra and Venus. Um, and right now the sun's still in Leo, so it's saying, look, do it with honor. This is the A8 portal. This is Pernod Bobby checking in, quick interpretation.